Okay, so hey guys, and welcome back to another predictions video. And in today's video, I'm going to be predicting the Obataya versus Thompson fight. If you're only around here though and you haven't subscribed, please do so. Like video if you do need like video, and let's get straight into it. So, going into this fight, Obataya is 22 0 with 17 KOs, and Thompson is 15 0 with 12 KOs. This fight is for the IBF World Cruiserweight title. Obataya's last fight was a win via unanimous decision versus Briadis, and Thompson's last fight was a win via TKO in round 6 versus Watkins. Thompson is six foot six and Opatai is six foot two. This is in Thompson's home country of England. And speak a bit more about what I just said there. Of course, cruiserweight title, world title, big fight this one which Opataya struggled to find an opponent for. Thompson's come in here. He's come in as a big underdog. He's come in with nowhere near the level of opposition that what Opataya has faced or even just in general what the level is for this level I mean he's got a very big jump up here realistically but last time out it was a, a good convincing TKO victory against Watkins it was a one sided fight really it was one which after the Dusar one which I believed was the one before he needed a win which was comfortable and it, that was a comfortable win for him Opataya's last fight was an amazing fight versus Briadis. It was an absolute battle. It was a fight which really showed and is one of the reasons why I love boxing so much for fights like that. It was a great fight. And uh, Opataya looked very, very good. He looked very stylish. Obviously, there was a little bit in the later rounds where he was giving bits away and Briadis was finding success. But for 90% of the fight, Op Opataya was looking very, very good. And that was one of the first fights where Opatai looked amazingly good. He looked very good in other fights, but that fight really showed like he looked amazingly good for big spells in that. And it was a fight which really cemented him as a top-level fighter and beat a top-level guy in Briadis as well. And of course, going into his fight with pretty much every fight with Thompson, he's the taller guy by much of a big margin. And again, no difference. Six foot six compared to six foot two is a big jump and of course that's going to play a factor as well Optire of course probably wouldn't well will most likely wouldn't have sparred or been able to train against somebody that tall or at least close to that tall and uh, so you know it's going to be interesting to see if that's going to be able to be something that Optire might struggle with of course being in England as well Thompson's going to have the support of him last time out Opataya was fighting in Australia where he had that fight versus Briadis, so he was the home fighter uh, to an extent. I mean, Opataya is the favourite and the person who everybody expects to win, but he's not the home fighter, and so that also might play a bit of a factor. Also on this card, though, is Scotney versus Griffa for the IBF World Super Bantamweight title, in which I think Scotney will win the via unanimous decision. I think this is going to be a comfortable performance for her. Griffith isn't really a madly tough opponent, but I feel like this fight is just just keep her active and then hopefully go on to even bigger fights because there is some big fights out there in the IBF Super, well, I mean in the Super Bantamweight division, and hopefully there we can get some um, happening. But for the moment, I think it'll be another unanimous decision victory. And then now to speak more about the fighters. So, Opatai is a fighter. He's tough. He's got grit. He's got determination. He has heart. He has great counters he's got a solid jab he's got good body work got good shot selection light on his feet controls the center of the wing ring well he's responsible he's got sneaky shots he's quick he's sharp he's not intimidated he doesn't get intimidated by fighters he lets his hands go he weathers the storm well and he's slick and something which really showed in his last fight was that grit and that determination and that heart and the fact of even when he was in that late in them later rounds where he was tiring a bit, he was struggling a little bit, um, but he still was constantly throwing and still looking very impressive. And something I really enjoyed was some of the sneaky shots he was throwing, especially the uppercut. Very, very tough to counter an uppercut like that. And it was very dominant. And the fact that he doesn't get intimidated by any kind of opposition, especially when he's having the pressure put onto him, is going to be something which could play into his hands in this fight because Thompson might be wanting to intimidate him with his size and if Obatai doesn't allow that then there's not really going to be much more that Op uh, that Thompson can surprise Obatai with I suppose so I feel like that's also going to be a factor in Obatai's favour 
um, but also the fact as well is he was just moving so well, looking so sharp, so slick. There's not many fighters that fight like that in the cruiserweight division, and it was a very tough game performance from him last time out. And like I said, I was a big fan, and no surprise, it's been tough to find matchups for him. To be completely fair, um, obviously there was a few talks of React Pool, boxer pulled out with that, and then there was talks of Briadis rematch. Don't really know what happened with that too much. Um, maybe it probably will end up happening next but for the moment we've got this fight as a fight maybe to just keep him active I don't really know but it's a fight which we've got and he's still a good top level fight as well his negatives off a tyre uh, he's had that bro uh, broken jaw injury that's something which could play a factor it happened in the last fight I believe that's kept him out for a while as well and the fact he managed to fight through it is very impressive showed great determination to be able to fight through it but is that going to play a factor going into this fight? It's something which, if you need a good jaw, that's one of the fundamentals of what you need. If you're going to get hit on it, then you need to be able to take a shot on it. And we've not seen if he can take a shot on it yet. And I feel like Thompson's definitely going to be testing that. And can he withstand it? We'll have to wait and see. He does get hit as well at times, especially later on in fights. He can slow down, like I said. He can become a little bit hesitant at times when... He does get caught with shots, but like I said, he weathers storms well, so I won't worry too much about that. And he's not used to the kind of expected pressure of being the champion. And I mean, this is his first defense of the belt, and I feel like he was the underdog going into the Briadis fight anyway. Or it, there was more of like a 50 50 fight. So, like I said, I don't feel like he's too used to being under pressure, but he's going to have that here, and quite a lot of it because, like I said, Thompson is coming in as quite a big underdog for this fight. Thompson as a fighter though, he's hard hitting, he's improving very well with every fight, he has to use his physical advantages like I mentioned, he's got a good jab, finds angles well, he's patient, he is starting to let his hands go more and more with every fight, he's accurate, times his shots well, he's got good positioning and he does find weaknesses well. Like I said, with him improving every with every fight, it's something which is vital and when you get to a point where maybe you're at appetizer level, there's not really too much you can do to improve with every fight. And so you kind of see them maybe plateau a little bit and become their level which they're at, which can be a world-class level. But when you're somebody that's coming up like Moore Thompson is at the moment and getting this shot, you see them improve with every fight. And then you get to the point where we see now, has he improved enough to be able to be at this top level? And so far so good for him improvement wise I mean there's been fights in the past where like I said against Dasar especially he didn't look especially great and he's been through hardships to face adversity and he's managed to come back from that he's managed to deal with that well and since then has been improving very well so if we keep seeing a gradual improvement from him then we never know what this fight could really show from him if this brings out the best of him and of course like I said he's hard hit him like I said he's probably going to test that jaw he is going to have to use his jab, keep it out of range. I feel like, to an extent, if he's going to win this fight, it probably will be by a decision, but it's going to be very hard to pin down the tyre because of his movement and the fact that he is very slick and quite sneaky with his shots as well. It's going to be difficult to be able to slow him down and really just be able to keep him at a distance. But the fact that Thompson is patient and does pick his shots quite well, that's something which possibly he could do. Negative for him, of course this is a big step up, is it too soon, this is what this is going to answer, he can smother his work a bit at times, he does get pushed back, he can respect his opponents a bit too much, his chin's been hurt like I said against Dusa, it was right at the end of the fight, if it had gone a, a little bit longer you never know, he could have lost that fight, he's been a bit conservative at times, he does get hit quite easily at times, he keeps his head on the line a bit, and does show defensive weaknesses he didn't have loads of kind of defensive movement either so there's definitely going to be opportunities for him to get hit in my opinion i think on the inside if opatai can find the inside of and fight it on the inside then opatai is definitely going to be able to find success especially with that uppercut and i feel like that's going to be a shot that she's very much going to be open and as his chin's been hurt before to lesser opponents then it's not really showing the best for this fight but like i said you can't write off somebody who has nothing to not nothing to lose but like has such little pressure coming in as an underdog it would be such a a major win for him and catapult him to i mean he's a world champion then he's going to come on to huge fights afterwards if it well if bar not a rematch
But either way, Optai, of course, is the favourite, and I think Optai will win via TKO in round six. I think Optai might just start from the get go like he means to go on. Start fast pace, really put it on Thompson. Thompson, I think, might get pushed back, might struggle with it a bit. If he is respecting Optai too much, which I don't think he should be doing, then that could spell for a recipe for disaster for him. And then I feel like Optai is going to be able to close it out within six rounds or within the sixth round and be able to just keep landing that shot. Even if it isn't a knockout, it might be a, a corner throwing in the uh, flowing in the towel or whatever because I feel like he's going to be too much to work rate and the pressure of Optire and the constant barrage of punches which he's going to be throwing and then where does he go on to next like I said the Briadis fight is an option react poor if Poxer ever wants to really come and bring that fight to Optire then you never know really um or Jack Badu Jack that could be a good fight as well nobody's really talked about that too much as a fight I don't believe um but that would be a fight which I'd be interested in um, but it'd probably most likely be the Briadis rematch, which I don't hate as well because it was such an amazing fight the first time round. But yeah, that is it for today's video. Hope you did enjoy. Like if you didn't, like if you subscribe if you're new, and thanks for watching.